you're following along, this is the follow-up to what happened with the misfired Remington 22 Golden Bullet. Thursday, June 28th, I had gone to camp. We were shooting guns. I actually have a video of putting a, a mag in my Walther P22. It was loaded with Remington Golden Bullets, 22 caliber. I shot three rounds, and on the fourth round, you can hear click, and nothing happens, which was kind of weird. So anyway, what I had done was this, when I inspected the gun, I turned it over and looked, uh, I put the slide back. What I saw was a bullet in the chamber, a second bowler in the a bullet in the port, and the first thing I've always done whenever there's any issues like that is eject the mag, and which I did. I leaned over the table, I pushed the button, ejected the mag out onto the ground, tipped the gun while I was holding the slide back, and the round that was in the port also fell out on the ground next to the mag. And that's when I got a better look and I could see that the, there was in fact a, a shell in the barrel of the gun. And so my friend that was with me, he says, well, sometimes that's just a you know, misfire. If you fire it again, uh, it'll shoot. So I tried and got nothing but a click. So then we looked at it again, waited for a second or two, because they also say, give it a minute before you try firing or looking at it in case it has a slow detonation. I don't know if that's a myth or a rumor, but that's what we did. Um, and we, uh, we couldn't tell if there was actually a bullet still in the casing, but there was enough of the casing backed out of the barrel that my friend could get his knife blade on there. And what he did basically was I held the, the uh, slide open and then he kind of pried the bullet back out of the barrel and we popped it back out. And then when we did, that's when we saw that there was a split in the casing. So, um, I checked the gun over, I reloaded the gun again, and it fired no problems. So it was just that one particular round. And of course, the other thing that was of note was that round had actually fired. Um, it just didn't eject. So, in fact, the third round that I shot was that bullet. The fourth was the click when it hit the casing that was now empty. So, uh, after it fired, and it didn't See, nothing seemed any different than the other two shots that I'd fired out of it. So I came home and I thought about it, thought about it, and I thought, you know what? I love Remington. New York State used to have a Remington company until a certain governor made some ridiculous laws and forced Remington out of New York State. Uh, I have tons of Remington. I mean, I, that's my go-to choice. And we, I always say that people in their ammunition are like uh, people in cars. Some people will say, Ford is the best car there, there could possibly be, the best make there is. Some people say Ford's a piece of crap, Chevy is the best there possibly is. That's for, the way it is for me and Remington. I love Remington. And in fact, I thought I would show you how much I love Remington. So I gathered together my ammo, different ammo that I have, and my and the what lone Remington I have, which is a 22 rifle, it's a 597. And uh, I set it out on my bed with some of the ammunition to give you an idea of how much I do like Remington. Let me pause right now and give you a chance to see some of the Remington ammo that I have. And it's varies uh, from 22 to 30 out 6 to 9 millimeter. Keep in mind the video you're about to see is the actual video that we took of me firing the Walther when that particular 22 misfired. I will shoot the gun three times and the fourth shot is a click. And of course, I open the slide, and I can see at this point there's a bullet in the chamber, there's a bullet in the ejection port, and I empty the mag out on the ground. Got rid of the bullet that was in the port, and then, of course, racked the slide back, and my friend says, shoot it again, see if it shoots, but it did not. And then it was after this that we pulled the casing out and saw the split in it. It did fire, it split upon firing, and that's why it never ejected. Now, to continue with the story, I did email Remington. I explained to them that I had been out shooting with my Walther P-22, that I was shooting 22 Remington Golden Bullets, and that one of them had gotten stuck inside the barrel. And upon getting the casing out of the barrel, we discovered that the shell itself, the casing, had split lengthwise. And also, where the firing pin hit the rim of the cartridge, it actually severed it. 
not just a ding, it actually split the rim. Uh, I had pictures and a video, a link to my video that I had put up on YouTube, which I doubt they looked at, to tell the truth, because when they replied to me, they asked me for the same information all over again. So I don't know if they actually read that first email, but they did respond and said they would get back to me. They would go over the information I had provided and get back to me. And then they sent me another email and asked for more detail. My name, address, what kind of ammo was I using? What kind of gun was I using? And of course I responded and it said, here's the printing label. Please return if I would, because I told them I would, the shell to them so that they could see um, you know, what exactly happened. I also took a shot of the box, which I still have ammo in, um, that the, that bullet came from. I took pictures of the identification marks on the bottom of the box, and I'm sending that to them as well. So they asked me to package it up and send it back to them. So basically, because all it is is um, a tiny little 22, you know, casing. I wrapped it with a little bit of uh, bubble pop stuff, put it inside of a little zippy lock thing, and then I put it inside of an envelope with the stickers that they gave me, and basically this is it. That's gonna go to Remington. UPS guy made a delivery today. I took out all the bubble pack stuff for time's sake, and uh, here's what came in the box. My uh, Remington 525 count. Okay, the response from Remington about the uh, malfunction bullet that I sent them, it says unconfirmed. On the cause of the split, possible large bullet and Remington remains my number one favorite ammo and as far as I'm concerned all's well that ends well